Wow. Hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's reading area. Yes. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous day. I hope you guys are enjoying your day and thank you for being here. Don't forget to click that like button and click that share button. Share my videos with everybody. So all the kids, all the grownups, all the babies get to hear some stories read to them. Some very interesting and inspirational stories read to them by Audrey. That's me here at Audrey's Reading Area. And don't forget to go to YouTube, click on Audrey's Reading Area. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Subscribe, smash that button. Yes. Now, Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Here's something I found on Alexa, the web. Alexa, stop. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Here's something I found on Alexa, the web. Alexa, stop. She doesn't get it right sometimes. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. Live at 8, you guys. Live at 8. Sometimes she has a moment. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you again for being here. I have another inspirational book that I will be reading to you today. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's called All God's Colors. All God's Colors. This is shout out to my cousin, Nancy. <laughs> shout out to you. All God's Colors. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, David III, and Kaden. I love you, miss you, pray every day that I get to see you again. Soon. <laughs> well, all right, all right, all right, you guys. Feeling good, I hope you guys are feeling good. Let's jump right into this book. All God's Colors, uh, the poem by Patricia Tower and pictures are by Judith Pfeiffer. Poem by Patricia Tower, pictures by Judith Pfeiffer. We're gonna jump right in. On the back it says this delightful, this delightful book reminds children of God's all encompassing love. Vivid illustrations accompany each rhyming verse as children see the glorious things God has created. Flowers, penguins, frogs, and giraffes, the entire world in many, many splendid colors, all God's colors. Did he make the flowers in all colors just for fun? Or was it that he loved them all and couldn't just choose one? Mm. So the children love the warmth and detail of the illustrations and the poems catchy rhyme parents will appreciate the message of love and appreciation for all the beautiful things god has created it's a vital lesson to pass on to our children today all god's colors belong on every family's bookshelf all god's colors we're going to jump right into this book it starts with let's look at the illustrations already beautiful all God's colors. So, do you think God made the dark so we could see the light? Hmm, makes you think, right? Hmm. Or was it so we'd always know the daytime from the night? Hmm. Beautiful. And did he give us colors just to make the world confusing? Hmm. Or did he think we'd find the colors lovely and amusing? Hmm. Did he make the flowers in all colors just for fun? Or was it that he loved them all and couldn't choose just one? Did he put the stripes and spots on tigers and giraffes you know that's my fine, favorite animal. 
Did he put the stripes and spots on tigers and giraffes? Hmm. Because they looked so wonderful, they made God smile and laugh. Aw. Some really beautiful pictures in this book. Illustrations are absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this tiger here. Look at him. Aw. And when God made the penguins, skunks, and pandas black and white, hmm. Do you think he said out loud, one color's not quite right? Aw. Now, do you have a favorite color? One that you can name? Yes, I do. I have a favorite color and I have a second favorite color. Or do you love them as God does? All colors just the same. Yes, all the rest of the colors I love just the same. <laughs> Yes, oh, look at a cute tiger. All the animals are cute here, right? But you know my favorite tigers. The end, oh, oh. Let me read you a little excerpt in the front. What was he thinking? It says, God's Colors, poem by Patricia Child, pictures by Judith Pfeiffer. What was he thinking? The charming poem explores why God made so many exquisite variations of colors when he created the world. With enchanting illustrations of whimsical animals, each page unveils new shades, while the text reminds us what a beautiful and colorful world we live in. Aw. Oh, God's colors. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Mom. Thank you all for being here and listening to me read. Now, don't forget, there's a like button right there. Just go ahead and click on it. Then there's a share button over here. Go ahead and hit share and then hit post and you're good to go. Then go on over to YouTube, put in the search box, Audrey's reading area. There's a subscribe button down there. Smash it. Click it, hammer it, punch it, just subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I will see you again live on Monday, live, L-I-V-E, live at 8, 8 o'clock on Monday. I will see you soon.